Introducing from Bungie Studios, Destiny 2 Power Creep Edition. All your other weapons are trash now. Get farming, bud. What is up, guys? It's your boy, Rick Kakis, and today we have got to talk about the Summoner Auto Rifle. Everyone is absolutely freaking out about this weapon. And for good reason, frankly, holy crap, this thing has got every single S plus tier per combination you could possibly want, and frankly, more. So what the heck is going on? Well, we've actually had the Summoner Auto Rifle in the game previously. It, it has often been a Trials of Osiris reward. In fact, some of you guys may be sitting there with an old Summoner in your vault like, since when is this thing goaded? Dude, this been collecting dust in my vault, what's this guy talking about? But in the most recent mid-season update and with the launch of Guardian Games 2024, Bungie went in and actually added some new and updated weapons to the loot pools of uh, Nightfalls, Iron Banner, and in this case, Trials of Osiris. So this is actually the first weekend we can get access to the new version of the Summoner with all new perks. And like I said earlier, the perks are absolutely disgusting. Now, a lot of people are focused on the PvP role, which involves getting target lock. Target lock, which is going to increase uh, the damage as you continually hit a target, is going to be insane for increasing your overall uh, time to kill within a PvP environment. That is kind of like the PvP dueling role that a lot of people want. Combine that with the fact that this thing has incredibly uh, good base stats. If you get the Adept version, you can put on something like Adept Range and you're gonna be absolutely shredding people within the Crucible. But in this video, we're gonna be focusing on the PvE version because the PvE God Roll, which I was lucky enough to get, is insane like it is beyond god tier honestly guys it is clearly now the best solar auto rifle in the entire game and i think you could make a compelling argument that this is the new best legendary auto rifle for pve in the entire game certainly right now in this season now why is that well let's take a look at the god roll and the first thing that's a part of it is actually heel clip importantly in the left column so heel clip is super super important here in fact i was actually working on a completely separate video just about how good heel clip is i actually got it on uh, this parabellum smg and i was doing some testing with it and guys heel clip especially after its recent buff, is actually insane within the game. So now, instead of previously granting cure times one when you would get a kill and then reload, it grants cure times two. And to give you uh, an idea of how much healing that is, you can see right here, you know, I let these enemies get me pretty low, I kill one, reload, and I get nearly all of my health back. Like I get all of my health and then into my shields back just by simply getting a kill and then reloading. But that's not the only thing that heal clip actually does. Remember, if you do this, get a kill, then reload, it not only heals yourself, it's actually also going to give cure just times one, but still it's gonna give cure times one to nearby allies. And you may have wondered, what does nearby mean? Like how close do allies need to be? Well, as you can see right here, we're testing it. And this is the maximum range at which allies are affected. I don't know about you guys, but this is way further than I expected. Like this guy is pretty darn far away and he's getting healing and I'm getting a massive chunk of healing. So you are keeping yourself alive almost indefinitely. Like you, you are just reloading so much. It is so easy to get a kill with this weapon. We'll talk about why that is thanks to the second perk in a sec. Um, but you're just constantly getting that massive cure times two. You are constantly also supporting your allies and that enables some pretty crazy synergies within solar builds. Uh, the main example of that is this fragment right here, Ember of Benevolence. So applying restoration cure 
or Radiant to allies grants increased grenade, melee, and class ability regeneration for a short duration. And that ability regeneration, you can see when I activate it uh, right here, like it is a significant boost to your ability regeneration. And this just makes Ember of Benevolence so easy to trigger. I mean, oh my goodness, it was kind of easy to trigger before because you would have the fragment where getting an empowered melee would make everyone radiant. But like now, every single time you reload, if there's an ally within that large, large radius that you guys saw, you're triggering Ember of Benevolence. Like you are getting like almost constant uptime for Ember of Benevolence and getting your abilities back ridiculously fast. So just with heal clip in the left column and the fact that it got buffed, like this is already insane. But then, then in the right column, we have Onslaught. Just added back to random rolls this season, Onslaught is performing incredibly well within the meta. Get a kill, increase the rate of fire, and it stacks up to times three. You significantly improve your rate of fire, and it's roughly equivalent, like I did the damage testing on, you know, time to kills and stuff in a previous video when I talked about Onslaught for the breakneck auto rifle, but it's roughly equivalent to having a 40% damage increase on your gun. It's just instead of a damage increase, it's an increase to rate of fire to achieve like that time to kill. But, but guys, Onslaught does more than just increase your rate of fire. Now it doesn't say this anywhere in game, but for each tier of Onslaught, you actually also increase your reload speed. And so Onslaught is actually a massive combo with heal clip. Like, you want to be slaying out and then reloading a lot. Onslaught, improving that reload speed is perfect for heal clip because you're slaying out with Onslaught. And you can see that in the background gameplay. And then, again, that bonus reload lets you quickly reload, get the heal, and then get back to shooting and get another kill while that rate of fire is still increased to keep Onslaught active. Like, the gameplay loop with heal clip plus onslaught is insane like the amount of damage you're putting out from onslaught the amount of uh, survivability you're getting with heal clip it's literally everything you could possibly want for a primary weapon like it is just popping off but it's especially popping off this season thanks to the absolutely broken seasonal artifact perks that buff solar. Like, first of all, you have Kindling Trigger, where Radiant causes solar weapons to apply Scorch to unscorched combatants. Then you also have Flint Striker, Rapid Solar uh, Weapon Precision Hits and Rapid Solar Weapon Final Blows grant you Radiant for even more damage. And then on top of that, guys, you even have a Rays of Precision, which is going to make Final blows while radiant with solar weapons cause enemies to ignite. In fact, uh, it was so ridiculous. You can see I'm getting gameplay with the summoner right here. It was so absurd. I actually had to reset my artifact because like I was slaying out so hard. It was killing so many enemies with the ignitions and all that. I was like, I I'm not even getting gameplay with the weapon. Like I'm killing everything so fast. I had to take these off so you can actually see what just the summoner can do. Like, how insane is that, right? Like, talk about first world problems, right? Like, I'm killing these enemies too fast. But that's what we're talking about here. You are absolutely popping off, especially with the seasonal artifacts. And now you get that survivability. Like, a lot of other really good solar weapons, even something like the Sunshot. The Sunshot slays out on ads. But it doesn't increase your survivability. The summoner will. The summoner will give you that insane amount of healing. And that is something that's very rare. Like before, uh, we didn't really see heal clip on too many good weapon archetypes. Sometimes we would see it in the right column right here. Finally, when combined with another S tier perk on a great weapon archetype with great stats in the summoner, we can really kind of realize the full potential of heal clip. And, and again, it just got buffed. And so it is really, really performing uh, well right now in the current meta. Like when April update rolls around, guys, this summoner roll would be 
absolutely popping off. Like you'll be absolutely shredding whatever they throw at us within the April update. So 100%, if you can bear yourself to do a few runs of trials, you just got to get one single roll of the summoner and then you can focus it. That's exactly what I did. Like I, my god roll is just on the normal version. I wish obviously I had gotten the adept version with this god roll, but uh, for PVE, you're not really missing out on too much. For PVP, you definitely want the adept version for adept range, but for PVE, you get the god roll on the normal version, you're totally good to go, guys. So overall, this summoner is just absolutely deadly. Highly recommend getting it, um, especially right now. For the next few months until the final shape, because these seasonal artifacts, like... <laughs> It's just so broken. It, it, it is so broken. It, it makes any sort of ad waves they throw at you completely irrelevant. You just shred. Guys, that is it for the video. Hope you enjoyed and found this informative. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That is linked in the description down below. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a good day.